It's not going to happen, sorry. Go ahead. He might have taken that shirt off because I didn't see him as one of the four out front, unless he kept walking. He's over by Martha. J.P. Freeman, uh, ex-J.P. Freeman, but J.P. Matt Phillips is J.P. This is uh, vehicle 31816, and uh, Sergeant Simon's in the front. Um, they're response, they're responding to a, um, this response into a, um, they're responding to a domestic, a rolling domestic in the middle of the road, and this chick took off, and uh, the guy uh, walked the other way. Um, optical lab is over there, and the guy ran through the woods, and he's still running on right, right now. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go to the tree line. By the parking lot. We're gonna go over there and videotape that part. Of it. You got me, Georgia. And this yeah, he's is over. Over by Markham. Um, I have, you? have the scanner right now. They're talking, so uh, you can hear what's going the on. To Markham. I'm right by the parking lot near the tree line. Yeah. He's off. Of All right, let's go up and take a right. They're resting that guy right now. No, there was a domestic one. Oh. You can stop mer you can merge them. Yeah. I don't know how we like this you gotta fly and then merge. Twenty five station. Twenty five. I'm off at twenty one. Just wanna see how the uh, the police yeah, handle a situation like this because I don't get that many and since this is in the area where I live. Um, I'm able to uh, capture it. Uh, when you get up to these two streets, I'm, I'm not sure which buildings mark them, but we'll be able to see the cruisers. Near the uh, older parking lot. The older parking lot, so that'd be on the left. Which parking lot? I'm on Tiffin in front of Markham and there's nobody here. Close to the 101. Yeah. Alright, take this next left right here. And, uh, can you he's gonna be flying up behind you, so uh, pull to the side. Take a left right here, and then pull to the side. Last of Clark. Go, uh, First of go up there. Date of birth, 1966. Close, where that dirt is, right behind the 12, 10. He's a junior. Right, thank you. Straight in the dirt. Go in the dirt. You've never done it before. Go ahead. We're at the southern end of the Timken lot. This is uh, JP. Um, this is in response to a domestic. You saw the other pot. I kept the camera rolling. You heard uh, all the traffic on the. I uh, just want to see how they uh, control this situation because they've been kind of brutal lately, and we'll find out 
uh, how their professional behavior is. This is uh, cruising number. I like said cruising number three one eight one six. Um, I believe there's uh, that one's Bowers. The one in the middle, I'm not sure. The one on the left, I know his name, but I can't think of it at the moment. Um, and this is uh, three one eight five. I'm going in the shade because it's like freaking ninety eight degrees with like hundred percent humidity. So we're gonna sit here in the shade and just make sure that these, this guy's protected. Um, the one on the far right, that one right there, was uh, stopped for DUI and arrested about three to four weeks, uh, months ago. And uh, that's uh, Sergeant Christopher Simons that just got out and I'll get his plate That one again is 31811 and he was just talking to the female on the side of the road a few minutes ago Two twenty-one, negative all around. Ten four, can you pray for? Four. And again, like I was saying before, Simon's came up. This one right here got arrested for DUI um, a few months back. Lost his license for ninety days. Um, he was arrested in Swansea. You can look that information up at the Keene Sentinel, which is the city of Keene. S E N T I N E L um, newspaper, and that uh, um, that story will be in there. Office of Bowers, and you can look at the picture in the paper and look at the picture of that, and it's the same dude. Um, so they hired him back. He's not fired for committing a crime. He probably has the highest <laughs> DUI stop rate. Um, believe it or not, even though it's a conflict of interest. But uh, what would happen if I wasn't here recording this? Would they be slamming their face into the ground and, you know? You can't even get in a simple argument anymore without like nine cops showing up. I actually was watching the, uh, the Patriots playoffs in 2004 when they won the uh, Super Bowl. And I actually had cops show up in my house because I was being too loud. Nobody was there but me, but I was screaming at the TV. And they responded to that. He's saying he was just walking through the parking lot and they got a small argument. What's going on, man? This cop said, what's going on, JP? <laughs> That's our 318. 16, he's leaving.
The dude did exactly what he was supposed to do. He says, if you're not charging me, I'll be on you on my way. He doesn't want to answer any more questions. That is the perfect, this is the prime video for people to learn. He says, if you're not charging me, I'm not answering any more questions. I'll be on my way. And there he goes. They gave him back his license and he's leaving. That's exactly what you do, gentlemen. You start talking to them, the more and more you give them information. He stuck with his story. He answered them a thousand times and he's on his way and see if he started yapping his trap he would be in the back of that cruiser right there he'll be in the back of that cruiser right now if he kept talking because what they're doing is they use all three of them gang up on him and questioning right they try to confuse the individual into incriminating himself even if he didn't do anything and then all of a sudden you say something you're not supposed to say and then oh you end up getting locked up in result of that and uh, he did exactly what what you should do is don't talk to the police never talk to the police never answer questions to the police he said if you're not charging me I'm, I'll be on my way and that is uh, perfect and this is our uh, 3186 that just pulled up again right here um, and they're talking about uh there was some type of domestic at the end of Optical right here. Um, this is Optical Ave that runs from Marble Street to 101. And uh, over here is where, where this issue happened. But they're pretty schooled on uh, me, so they, they don't bother me. Let's see, you, you know, for the viewers, for Social Vertigo, um, this is exactly their tactics. Um, even though they might all be good guys, because I've never had a problem with any of them except for Bowers. Um, um, especially Sergeant Simons, I talk about NFL football with them quite a bit. Um, never had any um, criminal interaction with them, but they, uh, they try to gang up on the person, try to make you incriminate yourself so they can... In, in, you know, procure an, event, an arrest. And that dude, I, I can't thank him enough because he just showed exactly what to do. If you're not charging me and I'm on my way, I'm not answering any more questions. 